Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we're going to focus on CDP, that is Cisco Discovery Protocol. And we are going to see this in Cisco Packet Tracer. So this is a very, uh, I would say, an important topic from point of view of CCNA study. So those who are studying for CCNA, for them, this, in, this video is going to be very informational. The very first point about CDP, as I've mentioned over here also, is that it's a layer 2 protocol. So always remember that CDP is a layer 2 protocol. And uh, uh, since its name is, you know, Cisco Discovery Protocol, it's a Cisco proprietary protocol. So when we say it's a Cisco proprietary protocol, means it will be used only on Cisco devices. It will be only supported by Cisco devices and it is used by Cisco devices to discover other Cisco devices which are connected to it. It's, it's simple and it does that by uh, sending some CDP advertisements to its directly connected Cisco devices and guys please do remember this that by default CDP is enabled on the Cisco devices I'll show you in a in a moment I'll just take uh, this this is my topology anyways guys uh, which we are going to use you can see here we have two routers up uh, uh, router which is a uh, Pune router which is based in Pune and let's say a Chennai router which is based in Chennai and we have we do have some uh, respective LANs and uh, that is uh, the switches which I have showed here so uh, what I'll do is I already have a login into Pune router so this is my Pune router so you can see over here that you know this Pune router have uh, uh, directly connected two devices a switch which is a Chennai router and uh, it's its own LAN switch uh, that is Pune LAN switch. So uh, let's let's see first point that I told you that you no know, CDP is enabled by default. So I'll show you here show CDP. If you just give this command show CDP, you can see that uh, I have not configured anything related to CDP right now. So even if I'm not configured anything, so by default CDP is running. You can see here that CDP is sending some um, some some CDP packets every uh, 60 seconds, okay, and its its hold time value is about 180 seconds. So it is 180 seconds, and you can see it is sending a CDP version to advertisement. So so by default CDP is enabled on Cisco devices. So I'll show you one more command, which is a very 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 important command. That is show CDP neighbor. Now uh, this is a Pune router. Okay, so this router have uh, two neighbors. Uh, this is Pune LAN uh, switch and Chennai router. You can see over here from this point of view. If you see Pune LAN switch, uh, this is the interface gig zero slash zero slash zero, which is the interface of Pune router because here you can see it is written as local interface so this is the local interface and uh, again uh, this command i love this command because because of this command you know i'll get some information uh, which is sufficient for me uh, related to connected devices so uh, the connected device is let's say the switch so i'm getting the information like you know this is a switch capabilities s means it's a switch the platform this switch i'm getting the information it means like from the neighbor of the of the neighbor device i'm getting the information and also the interface of the neighbor device uh, that is far chitana 0 slash 1 you can check over here uh, this is far chitana 0 slash 1 so that is correct uh, again a chennai router uh, you can have this interface this this is our interface uh, serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 that's good Capabilities are are in the sense of uh, the neighbor device is a router. Yes, it's a router. It's an ISR4300 router and the interface of that router to that Chennai router is serial 0 slash 1 slash 1, which is also correct. So this is again a very guys a very important uh, uh, command uh, from CDP point of view. Also, you'll get the uh, whole time um, values over here in this particular command uh, there's one more command i will say not one more command but an extension of this command that is you know if you give this command show cdp neighbors detail you will get bit more information i just maximize the screen uh, 
you will get more information that is uh, once you give this source adp neighbor details we'll get the device id and you know some some information related to you know which we saw in the previous command but you will also get the version what currently the version is and uh, uh, what is a duplex uh, you know the setting which is by default i have kept so it is full so this kind of information also you will get in this command uh, one more command i will show you that is show cdp uh, interfaces so this is this is another important command uh, you can see on which are interfaces cdp is running so you can see here that all the available interfaces i have this uh, four interfaces uh, two gig interfaces and two serial gig interfaces for all of these interfaces the cdp is running the interfaces may be down but the cdp is running and uh, i have of course we have always have one um, one logical interface that is vlan 1 on that also the cdp is running i mean so uh, you know this is this is i want to convey that cdp is enabled by default on each and every cisco device the next point is uh, as i'm saying that you know cdp is enabled on each and every device so we can also disable it if you want uh, that you know uh, there may be some uh, security related concerns some audit related concerns where where you don't want that uh, my information should be provided to the neighbor or i will get some information from the neighbor device so is that is a case we can of course disable cdp uh, and in real industry uh, also cdp in most of the devices is disabled uh, when 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 the connecting devices are into different organizations so uh, I'll, I'll disable it anyhow and i'll show you that how we can disable it so what we have to do is we have to go into configuration mode and give this command no cdp run if you give this command i just do this no cdp run i have given now you will see show cdp cdp is not enabled so we have disabled our cdp so this is how we can uh, disable uh, cdp again to uh, to roll back these changes the command is very simple cdp run so if this give this command cdp run cdp is again enabled we can see now show cdp cdp is enabled again we'll check our cdp neighbors also cdp neighbors it will take some time to discover but yes we'll get our cdp neighbors as well so yes our cdp neighbors are up now and we can see that uh, we have got this two cdp neighbors now this may happen that you know i i want to disable cdp uh, on my on my van site but on my line side i want the cdp to be enabled i don't want it to off uh, that also we can do it like if i want to disable it for let's for the chennai router so i can go on to this interface and i can disable it so we can disable uh, cdp on interface level also i'll show you how we can do it i'll quickly go into the config terminal interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and this is the command no cdp in and enter and now you will see show cdp neighbors you can see that still the neighbor is showing me because the whole time is there so let's see now what is the whole time whole time is 111 right now so once it becomes zero uh, you know the neighbor uh, we won't be able to see this neighbor cdp neighbor in our list so it's 111 now it's 98 so we have to wait for some time so let's wait for some time so currently it is uh, now 30 seconds are remaining so once this will become zero as i told uh, our uh, uh, this particular uh, cdp neighbor will disappear from this uh, list uh, so what is the time remaining just 14 seconds from now guys it's 11 second 9 seconds and 6 5 3 2 1 and disappear so we have only one right now a neighbor that is uh, pune land switch
we are not able to see now a uh, chennai router so guys this is how it is uh, related to cdp again if you want to enable again um, on that interface uh, what we have to do is again we'll go into the config t and uh, give this interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and we have to give this command cdp enable simple So that uh, you will again uh, see that particular uh, neighbor in this particular list. So uh, guys, uh, this is what I wanted to uh, basically show in this video. Uh, it's a short video, but a very useful video for uh, guys who are preparing for uh, CCN exam, uh, exams. And also it is very important for those guys who are currently working and this particular uh, device uh, uh, or this particular i'll say uh, so on cisco devices it's very useful feature when you're when you're working in cisco environment because you get the information uh, related to the neighbor device which helps you in building up the topology uh, so guys i'll stop here in this video if you really like this video guys uh, please do share this video with your friends with your colleagues and do subscribe to my channel network engineer stuff i'll catch up in the next video till then bye bye and thanks